Hey guys, this is Jessica here and welcome back to my channel. So I have another recipe for you today, but it's not my recipe. I was watching a new channel and she is just starting her weight loss journey and she's been doing amazing. I found her through Swole Normous and her name is I am Marsha K here on YouTube. So here is her name handle and I will have her channel linked in the description box down below. And I think that's her Instagram and Twitter also, but I'm not really sure. But she did a recipe for a nut crunch. So it looked really, really yummy. So I thought I would give it a go. So that's what we are making today. Um, now I'm going to use a couple of different things than in her original video. So this is just I guess my kind of spin on it, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so if you are a new subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell right next to it to get notified of whenever I post new videos. Also, if you want to find me on social media, everything is in the description box down below. And let's go Astros. Let's go Astros. So let's get into making this nut crunch, guys. So the first thing we want to do is kind of just chop up our nuts. So I have some California almonds. Now it's really important to get the ones that are not roasted because we're going to put them in the oven so you don't want to double bake them two times. Then we have some raw cashews. And then I have some walnuts. So I have my little blender right here. So I'm gonna start with the almonds. Now this is about a cup and a half. So her recipe calls for two cups each. So I'm just gonna use one of these little containers right here. So I'm just gonna put about half of my almonds in here and I'm just going to pulse it to chop them up some. and we have some whole ones and some chunks, so. wash my hands. <laughs> okay, so we have our nut mixture. Now in her, she had pumpkin seeds and all kinds of other stuff, but this is what I'm going to have in mind. <laughs> so we're just going to set this to the side. So now we're going to make our mixture for the nuts. So we are going to start with two tablespoons of oil. Now my oil that I have, it's sunflower and extra virgin olive oil, but you can use whatever kind you like. Then we're going to add some sugar-free maple syrup. Now she used real maple syrup that had like 50 something carbs in it. Um, so I'm trying to keep the sugar low, so I am going to see how this works with it. So this is also two tablespoons. Then we have one teaspoon of paprika. And then we have one teaspoon of cinnamon. So now I'm just going to whisk this up until there's no lumps or anything in it. So it should end up looking like this. 
looks pretty good. So now I'm just gonna pour this onto our nut mixture and then we're just going to incorporate it all together. dry to me so I think I'm going to double that mixture and see how it goes so I'm going to double that mixture that we just made so we have our mixture so I'm gonna clean this up and I will be right back so the next thing you want to do is you get a cookie sheet and you just want to line it with some foil and um, just to be on the safe side, I'm just gonna hit it with some nonstick spray. And then we are just going to put this on our cookie sheet. And just kind of spread it out. You know what this smells like when you go to Renaissance Festival or sometimes they have it at malls, those like cinnamon sugar nuts. It's kind of what this smells like. <laughs> We have our oven that's been preheating on 325, so you're just going to bake this for 20 minutes. And at the 10 minute mark, I'm going to pull it out and stir it and then put it in for the rest of the 10 minutes. So I will see y'all in 20 minutes. Okay, so we have it out of the oven so it's been baking for about 20 minutes so I'm just going to give it a final stir so I have some pink Himalayan salt so I'm just going to sprinkle just a little bit on top so we are just going to let this cool before we put it into our Tupperware and you can store this ooh, you can store this in the refrigerator so I want to give this a taste test while it's still warm because they smell so good. Mmm. Really good. They're still like soft and chewy. Mmm. So good. I'm going to let these cool off. I'm going to figure out how many servings I can get out of this and then I will come back to try it with some yogurt. So I'll be back momentarily. I have my mixture in my little bowl that I'm just going to put in the refrigerator. Um, so now that they have cooled, I'm just going to give it a try. Mm, they're so good. So this mixture... You can get six servings out of it if you use a cup. So that's what I measured it by. But next time, I think I'm gonna put some oats in it because I think that would be really good too. Um, so yeah, next time I'll put oats in it. So yeah, so now I am just going to put some of this on top of some yogurt and I'm gonna give it a try. But I will have the macros for this mixture right here and I'll have them also in the description box down below along with this recipe. I will have the macros for, I'll do the macros per serving, which a serving is gonna be one cup of this mixture. Well, here is our mixture with our Greek yogurt. Mm. Mm. That's so good. I almost got the vanilla yogurt, but it had more carbs in it, so I just got the plain. But this is really, really good. I really hope you try this recipe, and if you do, let me know what different nuts or seeds that you use. You can basically use whatever you want in it, but and this would be even like a good little snack. You can put it on top of ice cream. You can do so much with this. So, but. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely check out I Am Marsha Kay's um, YouTube channel. She has a lot of good stuff, a lot of good content. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.